Guys, on today's show, I got a full packer brisket, a 14 pounder. We're gonna do it hot and fast. I'm gonna do it on my master built 560. Stay tuned. Gallery Backyard Barbecue, and I am real excited about this uh, cook. But uh, before we get going, let me remind you to bang that subscribe button, ring that bell, so you get notified on all my uh, future uploads, right? That's a Pit Boss, Master Built, and of course, Blackstone. So listen, what I got going on today is a 14 pound full packer brisket from Wally World. And I'm gonna do it hot and fast, right? I'm looking to do it at 375, and I'm looking at about a four to five hour cook. And listen, I'm not gonna to spend too much time on the breakdown of this brisket, as there are a lot of good YouTube videos. I'll link a video up top for you to check out if you really want a detailed explanation on breaking down a brisket. But look, what I can tell you, is feel with your hands and then cut, right? If it's hard, it's not gonna break down, cut it, all right? You want fat to render, hard fat will not render. Okay, so I feel around like there, and I'm gonna take that out, right? Don't worry about it if you take a little meat with it. This isn't a competition brisket, and uh, look, nobody cares, do they? That's gonna do you no good, right? So you wanna remove that. You wanna take a little of that silver skin off, blah, blah, blah. There's the uh, deco right there, I believe. You wanna get in there and get some of that out. That's right, just like that. That's going to uh, run the uh, flat and the uh, point, right? Follow that down in after it's cooked. And, uh, usually you separate the two of them, of course. Oh yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, that's good stuff. There you go. You want to leave about a, a quarter inch of fat cap on there. Look, the best advice I could give you is flip it over, follow that grain, just like that, because you're gonna slice against that grain, right? So you won't be able to see that after the bark is formed. So you're gonna take a little sliver off like that, and you'll know after it's cooked, and that's where you're gonna slice it. There you go. And listen, I'm using a, a Texas style straight salt pepper with a little bit of garlic, SPG, that's it. I'm using no binder. You could use a, a binder if you'd like, but I've uh, chosen not to use a binder, of course. And you wanna make sure you get all sides in every nook and cranny. said you want to get in every nook and cranny just to pile it on don't worry about using too much got a lot of uh, real estate here to cover of course and now what I like to do is I'll let this sit sometimes I'll put it back in the fridge which uh, supposedly gives you a better smoke ring but I'm going to prep the grill on this grill you remove your uh, separators right there course and that lets air that lets oxygen into the uh, lump and allows it to burn right and to that viewer who uh, noticed a struggle to put that in it was a little bend it is fixed and I appreciate the uh, I appreciate the notice look I'm gonna put a little uh, hickory inside of the box and I'm gonna drop a little apple up on top of the box and of course I'll uh, top off my uh, briskets there you go. 
And like I said, we will run this uh, grill at a 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Of course, you want to shut your uh, doors so that uh, so the engine kicks on, right? So the fan kicks on. And I have to tell you off the bat that this grill held that 375 with a no problem. Oh. <laughs> I have had a couple requests for a brisket and uh, there's a 14 pounder fits in there uh, quite nicely. All I had to do was remove the uh, top. Great, of course. Now, one of the worries I've had uh, on this uh, hot and fast is that a flame is right underneath that brisket with these types of grills pellet grills and so forth you always got to worry about it overcooking and you can see it's already getting a little dark under there even though we got fat side down so listen what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna protect it with a, a hot plate if you don't have one of these I'll leave a, a link down below you can grab one from Amazon right it uh, throws a couple shekels to the channel, but cost you no more. But what that does there, now that's going to distribute the heat away and around the brisket, right? So it's not just pounding the brisket. And I also have a, a rolls test that uh, showed me that it was going to do this. So I was all ready with the uh, hot plate. You'll see that video soon. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get my temp probes in. I'll get one in the uh, flat and uh, one in the point, right? We're going to run this right up to the stall. And I'm looking at about three, four hours. Now I am going to put a couple of tin foil balls because I want my uh, brisket nice and straight. I don't want it stretched it down to the hot plate. And we are moving up pretty uh, fast. And we are two hours in. Two hours in. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to spritz it with an apple juice water. That's a 50-50. You could use regular water. Just make sure you don't use anything with a high sugar contact. Because you'll burn the meat, right? The sugar will uh, burn the meat. And there we are, uh, three hours in. And we are at the uh, stall, right? And we got a, a whoa, oh, yeah, oh yeah. And look, we are at the stall, so we are gonna get this sucker out. We're gonna get it wrapped. Now I wrap with butcher paper, and you really want the uh, 24 inch butcher paper. I'll leave a link down below. If you don't have it, you can get it, like I said before, you can get it from Amazon. The uh, 18 inch is just not a width enough for a, a brisket, so you really want the a 24 inch paper. And I am dashing with a little Worcestershire sauce. You could use a, a beef broth or you can uh, use nothing, right? And as you see, the uh, 24 width is just barely uh, big enough, but of course it is big enough. So we'll get this uh, back in the uh, back in the smoker. We'll get it temp probed, and we'll run it right up into the uh, 200 degree Fahrenheit range. And then we'll pull it out and rest it, of course. And again, I'll do one probe in the uh, flat and one probe in the uh, point, of course. And uh, just like that, uh, two hours wrapped. Total cooking time of five hours on this brisket on hot and fast. And 
you could see we were at that uh, 208 in the flat. Two oh six as we move towards the point. Two eleven at the point, and remember that side of the grill is definitely runs a little hotter, so that makes total sense. So what we'll do here is we'll get this out, we'll get it wrapped in a, a blanket, right? You got a cooler, you could put it in the cooler. That's the. Uh, best option I don't have one handy so I'm just gonna stick in the oven and I'll let this sucker rest in the oven probably for about two three hours and I did a, a three hour rest to open this up. And unfortunately, I did lose a little of footage of the separation of the uh, flat and the uh, point. But we'll make do for what I had. And you could see the uh, bark is not that bad. I wasn't crazy about the Worcestershire, so I wouldn't go that route again. I did not have any beef broth handy, like I said, so uh, but I think it did something funny to the bark there. I really wasn't crazy about the uh, flavor of the Worcestershire, so uh, you definitely don't want to do that. Smoke ring is okay. I've had better. It has a, a nice bend to it. And remember, we did do hot and fast and not a, a 12 to 14 hour cook. Pulls apart very nicely, nice bark. And I can tell you the uh, flavor is uh, definitely a spot on. The, uh, the uh, point, you know the uh, point's going to be good, right? You can see the uh, sheen. It's got a lot of, uh, lot of moisture. And remember, this is a, a Walmart uh, brisket. And I'll tell you, I've had good luck with Walmart meat, and it continues. Look, uh, maybe the question is, would I do hot and fast again? And the answer is, yes, I would. If you're pinched on time, hot and fast, there's nothing wrong with it. I think it gets the brisket up to about 90%. If the low and slow is 100%, 90% on the hot and fast, that's not bad at all. And listen, if you like this brisket cook, I'm going to leave a link here for another brisket I did and another one right under it for another brisket. You check those out and we shall see you soon.